Ezekiel chapter 25 Proclamation against Amun The word of the Lord came to me Son of man set your face toward the Ammonites and prophesy against them Say to the Ammonites hear the word of the Lord God Thus says the Lord God because you said Aha over my sanctuary when it was profaned and over the land of Israel when it was made desolate and over the house of Judah when it went into exile therefore i am handing you over to the people of the east for a possession and they shall set their encampments among you and make their dwellings in your midst they shall eat your food and they shall drink your milk i will make rabba a pasture for camels and the cities of ammonites a fold for flocks then you will know that i am the lord For thus says the Lord God because you have clapped your hands and stamped your feet and you just with all the malice within you against the land of Israel therefore behold i have stretched out my hand against you and i will hand you over as spoil to the nations and i will cut you off from the peoples and will make you perish out of the countries i will destroy you then you will know that i am the Lord proclamation against moab thus says the lord god because moab said behold the house of juda is like all the other nations therefore i will lay open the flank of moab from the cities on its frontier the glory of the country beth jeshimoth balmion and kiriathim i will give it a long with the ammonites to the people of the east as a possession that it may be remembered no more among the nations and i will execute judgments open upon moab then they will know that i am the lord proclamation against eden thus says the lord god because eden acted revengefully against the house of judah and has previously offended in taking vengeance upon them therefore thus says the lord god i will stretch out my hand against eden and cut off from it man and beast and i will make it desolate from teman even to dedan they shall fall by the sword and i will lay my vengeance upon edom by the hand of my people israel and they shall do in edom according to my anger and according to my wrath and they shall know my vengeance says the lord god proclamation against philistia thus says the lord god because the philistines acted revengefully and took vengeance with malice of heart to destroy in never ending enmity Therefore thus says the Lord God Behold I will stretch out my hand against the Philistines and I will cut off the Cherenthites and destroy the rest of the sea coast I will execute great vengeance upon them with wrathful chastisements then they will know that I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon them Ezekiel chapter 26 Proclamation against Tyre In the eleventh year, on the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, because Tyre said concerning Jerusalem, Aha, the gate of the peoples is broken. It has swung open to me. I shall be replenished. Now that she is laid waste, therefore thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Tyre, and will bring up many nations against you, as a sea brings up its waves they shall destroy the walls of tyre and break down her towers and i will scrape her soil from her and make her a bare rock she shall be in the midst of the sea a place for the spreading of nets for i have spoken says the lord god and she shall become a spoil to the nations and her daughters on the mainland shall be slain by the sword then they will know that i am the lord for thus says the lord god behold i will bring upon tyre from the north nebuchadnezzar king of babylon king of kings 
with horses and chariots and with horsemen and a host of many soldiers. He will slay with the sword your daughters on the mainland. He will set up a safe wall against you and throw up a mound against you and raise a roof of shields against you. He will direct the shock of his battering rams against your walls and with his axes he will break down towers. His horses will be so many that their dust will cover you. Your walls will shake at the noise of the horsemen and wagons and chariots when he enters your gates as one enters a city which has been breached. With the hoofs of his horses he will trample all your streets. He will slay your people with the sword and your mighty pillars will fall to the ground. They will make a spoil of your riches and a prey of your merchandise. They will break down your walls and destroy your pleasant houses. Your stones and timber and soil they will cast into the midst of the waters. And I will stop the music of your songs and the sound of your lyres shall be heard no more. I will make you a bare rock. You shall be a place for the spreading of nets. You shall never be rebuilt. For I, the Lord, have spoken, says the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God to Tyre, Will not that coastland shake at the sound of your fall when the wounded groan, when slaughter is made in the midst of you? Then all the princes of the sea will step down from their thrones and remove their robes and strip off their embroidered garments. They will clothe themselves with trembling. They will sit upon the ground and tremble every moment and be appalled at you. And they will raise a lamentation over you and say to you, How you have vanished from the seas, O city renowned! that was mighty on the sea, you and your inhabitants, who imposed your terror on all the mainland. Now the isles tremble on the day of your fall, ye the isles that are in the sea are dismayed at your passing. For thus says the Lord God, when I make you a city laid waste, like the cities that are not inhabited, when I bring up the deep over you and the great waters cover you, then I will thrust you down with those who descend into the pit, to the people of old, and I will make you to dwell in the nether world among primeval ruins with those who go down to the pit, so that you will not be inhabited or have a place in the land of the living. I will bring you to a dreadful end, and you shall be no more. Though you be sought for, you will never be found again, says the Lord God. Ezekiel chapter 27 Lamentation over Tyre The word of the Lord came to me, Now you, son of man, raise a lamentation over Tyre, and say to Tyre, who dwells at the entrance to the sea, Merchant of the peoples on many coastlands, thus says the Lord God, You, Tyre, you have said, I am perfect in beauty. Your borders are in the heart of the seas. Your builders made perfect your beauty. They made all your plants of fir trees from Senir. They took a cedar from Lebanon to make a mass for you. Of oaks of Bashan, they made your oars. They made your deck of pines from the coasts of Cyprus inlaid with ivory. Of fine embroidered linen from Egypt, was your sail, serving as your ensign. Blue and purple from the coasts of Elisha was your awning. The inhabitants of Sidon and Arved were your rowers. Skilled men of Zemer were in you. They were your pilots. The elders of Jabal and her skilled men were in you, caulking your seams. All the ships of the sea with their mariners were in you to barter for your wares. Persia and Lud and Put were in your army as your men of war. They hung the shield and helmet in you. They gave you splendor. The men of Arwad and Helek were upon your walls round about, and men of Gamar 
were in your towers they hung their shields upon your walls round about they made perfect your beauty tarshish trafficked with you because of your great wealth of every kind silver iron tin and lead they exchanged for your wares jawan tubal and meshek traded with you they exchanged the persons of men and vessels of bronze for your merchandise bet togarma exchanged for your wares houses for horses and mules the men of rods traded with you many coastlands were your own special markets they brought you in payment ivory tusks and i ebony edom trafficked with you because of your abundant goods they exchanged for your wares emeralds purple embroidered work fine linen coral and agate juda and the land of israel traded with you they exchanged for your merchandise wheat olives and early figs honey oil and balm damascus trafficked with you for your abundant goods because of your great wealth of every kind wine of helven and white wool and wine from uzel they exchanged for your wares wrought iron cassia and calamus were bartered for your merchandise deed and traded with you in saddle cloths for your riding arabia and all the princes of kedda were your favored dealers in lambs rams and goats in these they trafficked with you the traders of sheba and rama traded with you they exchanged for your wares the best of all kinds of spices and all precious stones and gold haran kana eden ashur and chilma traded with you these traded with you in choice garments in clothes of blue and embroidered work and in carpets of colored stuff bound with cords and made secure in these they traded with you the ships of tarshish traveled for you with your merchandise so you were filled and heavy laden in the heart of the seas yet robbers have brought you out into the high seas the east wind has wrecked you in the heart of the seas your riches were wares your merchandise your mariners and your pallets your cockers your dealers in merchandise and all your men of war who are in you with all your company that is in your midst sink into the heart of the seas on the day of your ruin at the sound of the cry of your pilots the countryside shakes and down from their ships come all that handle the oar the mariners and all the pilots of the sea stand on the shore and wail aloud over you and cry bitterly they cast dust on their heads and wallow in ashes they make themselves bald of you and gird themselves with sackcloth and they weep over you in bitterness of soul with bitter mourning in their wailing they raise a lamentation for you and lament over you who was ever destroyed like tyre in the midst of the sea When the wares came from the seas you satisfied many peoples with your abundant wealth and merchandise you enriched the kings of the earth now you are wrecked by the seas in the depths of the waters your merchandise and all your crew have sunk with you all the inhabitants of the coastlands are appalled at you and the kings are horribly afraid their faces are convulsed The merchants among the peoples hiss at you you have come to a dreadful end and shall be no more forever